I was too busy reading my own stories there because this is Snappy World Book Day and I was going through some of my children's books that I've drawn and written thinking I've got loads of snappy characters in them actually, quite a few indeed. Now my name is Liz Millian and I have been working with Tees Valley Music for quite a few weeks now and they asked me to do this special little draw along video. Now the things that I have been drawing for them have been wonderful colourful characters so we are going to learn how to draw some of them just now. So go and get your pencil and your paper and draw along with me. Okay, so you should have a few sheets of paper, any size, your pencil and a rubber. Now what I'm going to be doing today is I'm using these crayons and these let me colour in quite quickly. You can colour your pictures in later on. Uh, we're going to look at doing the lines of our first character. Now we're going to start with an M shape. And this M shape is going to be the eyes of our character. So we're going to come up and down like that. So it's like an M shape. And once you've got that, you're going to draw some eyes. Now we are going to draw Slimy Sydney. And he is a very nasty kind of snake gobbles everyone up and slimy means he's sort of wet and cold but actually snakes aren't that slimy they're quite cold but they're very smooth but it's a good name isn't it if he's like slimy it might mean that he's not a very nice sort of character so i've got some evil eyebrows on i've got some shadow under his eyes and I'm just going to pop a little bit of yellow in his eyes. Now again, you can colour yours in later on. Go. Now I loved drawing Slimy Sydney. Because I love drawing snakes. I'm quite good at drawing snakes. And that's not me bragging. <laughs> it's because I find them quite easy to do. Now this is how I start Alfie the Alligator as well. But we're going to come along here with a little hill and another little hill. So he has nostrils. Nostrils are the holes that you poke your finger up. And I've done lots of different books with snaky characters in and crocodile characters. So I'm going to come round here and I'm going to make him look evil. So he is smiley. Now it doesn't matter how evil my characters are. I always put a rosy cheek on, <laughs> like that. Okay, so he's going to have teeth, like that. So he's definitely like a sort of python. And this is the tricky bit. I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to go up. Now this is a tricky picture to start with, okay? And some of you might be very young. So just take your time. It's got a special tongue. You can always pause the video, have a rub out, go back. That's the joy of a video. And then we're going to come round. So he's got a cheeky cheek. And we're going to come down like that. So came round like that. And if you wanted to go round your paper, uh, with your character, with your pen, you can do. If you wanted to just keep it in pencil, you can do as well. Now, Slimy Sydney is going to come round like that. And I'm drawing him going off the page there. You can make him go curly round if you like. So I'm going to do him slithering along up the stairs. So he's got quite a big body there, hasn't he? Now, when it comes to colouring your character in, your character can be any colour. Now, there are some beautiful coloured snakes in the world. There are boa constrictors, there are adders, and we have coral snakes. We have all sorts. So, I'm going to get just a general sort of greeny colour here. And I would normally look at where his tummy line was. And you don't need to colour this quickly. I am doing this really quickly because we've got another character to draw in a minute. 
so I'm coming around here and you can see that's a very very pale green so then I'm going to get my navy or dark green and I'm going to put some scales on like that so you can see it's like a W or a curly cut and when it comes around to his face here I'm not going to draw all over his face because I want to be able to see his uh, expression how his face looks there we go if you wanted to do some stripes on you can do so I've got a nice red here I might do the odd triangle like that again you can do purple pink blue black whatever you like when I do children's books though I always have to think of uh, bright colors to attract children's uh, imagination and attention so there we go we have got slimy Sydney he <coughs> is a very snappy character snap, snap, snap. okay so we're gonna do uh, a tricky tiger now now we're not gonna draw him playing the guitar don't worry but we are gonna start with a very weird thing and this weird thing is my potato shape so draw a potato shape and in the middle you're going to do a tiger's nose now this tiger really really frustrated me i'm not used to drawing guitars so my brain took quite a few goes to learn how to do it okay so there's his little nose and our little tiger is gonna have a mouth like that. If you want to do it straight, you can. I'm going to make it go up and along. I'm going to open his mouth because he is singing to the lovely music. And he's got little teeth. If you want to make them sharp, you can do. And he was very, very showy offy. He was bragging. He's like, I'm the biggest, the best in the jungle there we go so he's got a little line going down and while you're drawing that I'm going to put a little bit of colour on now you can put colour on later on as I said I've got a peachy colour and I think I'm going to open his eyes now we could have drawn him with his eyes shut because lots of people that play musical instruments that concentrate don't they with their eyes shut but look we've got his eyes open and he's got a confident eyebrow. Now he looks like he's showing off, doesn't he? He's like, yeah, check me out. And that's exactly the sort of personality we need. Okay, now don't worry if you're thinking, he looks like a bear. <laughs> he does a bit. Now, instead of doing the tigers and the color stripes, everything, we're gonna draw his glasses on first. So I'm gonna get some, hmm, maybe some nice red ones. Oh no, actually, I'm gonna get this nice green really blue blue and we're gonna go across and under and I'm gonna go round it a few times so he's got quite thick cool glasses on and I'm gonna come round like that now if I colored those in black like proper sunglasses you wouldn't be able to see his eyes and I think it's quite important to see his eyes now I'm gonna put some side bits on here now this is where, in real life, if he had those glasses on, they would fall off his head, wouldn't they? Because his ears need to hold his glasses up. So really, he would have them going over there, but that would look really weird. And the thing is, my job is really tricky sometimes because I've got to bring characters like rhinos. I've got to bring them to life and make them play the trumpet when they don't have any fingers. So I've got uh, a very tricky job. Now I've got my orange here, and just to save a bit of time, I'm going to come round, down, very quickly. Now these are just normal crayons. You could do this with felt tip, but I think sometimes felt tips you think, oh, they're gorgeous, but felt tips sometimes ruin your pictures. So I would just use pencil crayons. And look, I'm doing some triangles like this. Now my brain is quite good at drawing tigers, but it didn't really like doing that guitar so that's why it took me so many times and here's our little tiger in fact i think i'm going to give him a bit of fur so he looks like he's got a bit of a cool hairdo like that hey chicks 
<laughs> and you can see why I am such a happy person. I love my job because I love meeting children, getting kids to draw. I love encouraging them to read and be creative. And I think if I had to go back and do something at school, I would have loved to have done music. I love music. So when you get the opportunity to learn an instrument, guys, take it definitely. Or even singing anything creative, because it's really good for your brain being creative. Okay. There's our tiger. We could also put some stars. We could put one near his teeth, but I think that looks a bit weird. Okay, here he is. He's live on stage, pussing bigger boots. Okay, now, how did you do with that one? I think that was a bit harder than the snake, but it might not be if it's your brain, because my brain, I thought that was easier, but you are only little. Ending with an easier one. Hopefully you find it easier <laughs> now. I think drawing a tiger in sunglasses is quite hard, but this one hopefully will be easy. We're gonna start with a carrot. Now it's a bit like a teardrop, okay? If you have a piece of paper with a teardrop on, you could just turn it around like that. Okay, now this carrot is wonderful for rats, mice, rabbits, but it's very good for fish. Now, Stanley and Cedric were a couple of synchronized swimming fish. And I'm just gonna do two big eyes like that. And I love drawing fish, because I always think about their faces and their mouths and their eyes. And we're gonna do sort of a three shape. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna get my rosy cheeks. And this picture isn't going to take us long at all. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw a little fin here. This is fin and this is his gill. I love drawing puffer fish as well with this shape. So he's got big, gorgeous eyes. I'm gonna put some colour on as well. Some goldfish are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? I'm gonna put a little fin up here. There we go. And you can put a little tail on. I'm gonna put a big fancy tail on. And you can come in and out, or you can just go straight down. So I'm gonna go wibbly wobbly. Now don't worry if you've gone a bit wrong with that shape there's no real shape to it it's just a flowing tail and then i'm going to go around with my pen i told you it was a lot quicker didn't i <laughs> yeah okay now i'm going to do some wiggly lines because our little fish is swimming along and i've got a lovely orange and a red and this picture for Tees Valley Music Services. Did not take me that long to do and I really, really enjoyed it because I love drawing with bright colours and experimenting with different faces and because some goldfish are a little bit ugly, aren't they? <laughs> We've seen those black moor ones with big boggly eyes. Uh, and this is going to be a little cute character. So I'm doing a very, very faint bit of orange. So you can see I'm not pressing down. If I was pressing down, would be really dark like that okay and because I've done it on there I'll have to do it on here and then I've got my red and I might put some patches on like this now this is not my best coloring I'm drawing this really really fast for this draw along okay now I'm also then might get a different color now I've got these crayons in here and I've got like a sort of dark maroon. You could get brown, dark blue, it's up to you. But look, just like we did with Slimy Sydney, we're gonna put some scales on. Now they were scales of a snake before, weren't they? Now I do this on birds, mermaids, and fish, snakes, dragons, the lot. And whilst I've got that dark red, 
I might then blend it in. Okay, so when you're an artist, you think about what colours you want to use and what looks lovely together. And I love this turquoisey colour with this um, colour character. And I love this yellow underneath. Now, he might look like he's actually in the sea. So what I would do is... I would maybe put um, a little shell or a little treasure chest or a little castle that you would get in a sort of fish tank. But we're not worrying too much about that today. So there is our Stanley synchronised swimming fish. How did you do with those little animals? Now I did say they were a little bit tricky, didn't I? Now if you did a little bit wrong or you went a bit funny, just remember it took me over 20 times to get Puss in Bigger Boots character right, okay? So don't worry, even experts like me get it wrong sometimes. And really it's not getting it wrong, it's your brain practicing how to do things. And if you haven't drawn it before, you can't expect your brain to get it right. Just like with music, you can't just play guitars like that you have to put the practice in now don't just do the drawing and go off there are so many other things happening on our site today so you've got competitions prizes to win we've got all sorts of things going on about music and drawing and reading because today is snappy world book day so my name is liz million hopefully i will see you again soon and look out for my fantastic characters bye guys well done